Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be completing the uh, assembly of the second CBX engine in our uh, CBX restoration series here on the second bike. So uh, I'm starting off by installing the uh, uh, what Honda calls the valve lifters, but I call them uh, shim buckets, as as you recall from a previous video. But uh, anyway, so I'm uh, installing all 24 of them here. And uh, once those are done, then uh, here I'm installing the, uh, the brass uh, washers for the head bolts. And so that we can get those, uh, for, so we can get the head uh, bolted down and torqued before we install the uh, the cam and the cam chains. So just kind of quickly going through the process here, just installing all the uh, the cap nuts to the head. And there are two different sizes. There is a 14 millimeter cap nut and a 12 mill millimeter cap nut. And uh, I'll point those out. So there's there's two sizes. There are 12 and 14 millimeter. And, and uh, I use a six point. There's a, there's a 12 point socket and a six point socket. Uh, or hex socket, whatever you want to call it, but I use the uh, the six point socket because you get a much more uh, precise um, attachment to the nut. So uh, and then, um, like I said before, you have 14 millimeter caps in the center, all the way around, and then on the on the ends, and in the middle of the head are the uh, are the 12 millimeter caps. So following the, uh, it's very important that you follow the manual in the in the uh, sequence of how you tighten these these nuts, so you don't warp the head. And the torque specs are right right next to the uh, diagram there. Very easy to follow, but it's important that you follow the shop manual in that in the sequence. So on a torque wrench, and I'm sure that most of you know this, but uh, torque wrenches have uh, both uh, metric and standard torque specs. And the, the, uh, the handle has a series of numbers starting with the zero and a little lock nut here. And you just turn the handle uh, to, you know, to get the, uh, the correct torque reading that you want. So you just turn the handle until you get the uh, the correct reading. So like in this case it's foot pounds and it starts at 10 and goes all the way up to 90 or whatever depending on your torque wrench. So you start with the zero and then you just keep turning until you get to your uh, desired uh, torque spec. Again, I'm sure most of you know this, but for those who have never used a torque wrench, that's just kind of a quick little thing. It's very easy. You just dial to the spec that you want, and uh, it's very easy. Anyway, so you follow the shop manual on the sequence again, and you want to do it in a cross pattern, and you start with the center caps first. So you do it in a cross pattern according to the manual, just like that, just a cross. And then do the same on the other side, on the other bank. Start with the center ones first in a cross pattern. You do that all the way around. Then you do the uh, end caps and the center caps the same way in a cross pattern. So what I do is I turn the cap, you know, not worry about the torque at that point. You just keep turning the cap until there's no more uh, 
until it, you, you feel a little bit of resistance, you know, don't tighten it, but you just bring it down to where you feel resistance on the wrench. So then once you get all the caps torqued to spec, then you go ahead and, ins and uh, install the cams. And I, again, like I said in a previous, in my previous video on uh, assembling the uh, valve train, I, uh, I start off by using um, an assembly lube and I do all the uh, the cam journals, as you, as you can see here that I'm applying it to all the cam journals, and then I also uh, put a dab on uh, on each one of the uh, valve shims. That way, the the cam lobes, uh, you know, when you first start the engine up, it gets lubricated properly. And I use Bellray assembly lube, but you can use any brand name assembly lube. So then again, as I had mentioned in a previous video, uh, before you install the cams, you have to make sure that the, uh, the number one cylinder is that top dead center. And what you do is you line up the, uh, the crankshaft um, timing marks here, as I'm showing you. You line it up with the engine cases towards the front of the engine. So you just line up that T mark for top dead center. Then you want to verify that your number one piston is all the way at the top and you can see it there through the spark plug hole. Then you go ahead and take your cam gear and again like I had mentioned in a previous video you line up these two dimples here in the uh, in the cam gear and you start off and you also line up these uh, the bolt holes straight up and down and you line up the dimples with the uh, the the line of the head and you start off with the uh, right hand side exhaust cam so that'd be on the right side of the engine or the passenger side <laughs> If there is such a thing on a bike but in a car it's passenger side so you want you want the uh, the bank of number four five and six cylinders and you just you go ahead and attach the cam chain and adjust it as you need to to make sure that those dimples are lined up and I'm kind of showing here um, a little close up that the bolt holes line up and the dimples line up then you go ahead and install your right hand exhaust cam, right hand side, number four, five, and six cam. Making sure that your dimples are continuing to line up. Then you go ahead and install one of the bolts that connect the cam to the gear. And you want to make sure you want to hand tighten these first before you put a wrench on. You don't want to cross thread them. Again, after you do that, you make sure your dimples still line up with the line of the head. And you want to make sure that your lobe, your, your cam lobes are pointing towards the spark plug. Then you go ahead and start putting uh, number six and number eight cap and you count one two three four five six seven eight so you want to install number six and number eight on that cam so i go ahead and put some assembly lube on all of the uh, main journals of the cam and do the same to the caps and then you go ahead and install those caps Again, you want to hand tighten these bolts first. You don't want to cross thread. It's very easy to cross thread on an aluminum engine. Again, you just kind of hand tighten them first before you torque them. Then what you want to do is you want to you want to rotate 
the engine around and put in the second bolt to the uh, cam gear. Again, hand tightening it first. Then you go ahead and tighten those up to spec, which is very light. It's only like 12 pounds. Then you go ahead and install your your other cam, your intake cam. Again, making sure that your lobes are pointing towards the spark plug. Then you go ahead and install your cam chain to that gear. Again, making sure that the dimples still line up after you get the chain on. It's a little t tricky, but you know, you just keep adjusting the cam on the gear until you get those uh, dimples to line up properly. It might take you a couple of times doing it before you get it. So again, once those, uh, once the chain is on, you want to make sure that these two dimples line up with the edge of the head, and that your lobes on number six cylinder intake and exhaust are pointing towards the spark plug. Then you turn the engine, and this is very important. A lot of people leave this step out. You turn the engine a full 360 degrees until the lobes are pointing out away from the spark plug. Then you install your other cams, and you make sure that those lobes are pointing towards the spark plug. Very important, you turn the engine 360, get number six cylinder lobes pointing out away from the spark plugs, then you install your other cams pointing towards the spark plugs. And again, like before, you, install, you uh, apply your assembly lube, your cam caps, get them torqued down to spec, and then install all the rest of the caps. And then your cam chain, your top cam chain adjuster or guide. And install your oil tubes, as I'm doing here. And once once the uh, once you have all the caps and the oil tube and and your uh, cam chain guide and all of that, then you want to adjust your your uh, cam chain so that it's uh, tightened up. Then you go ahead and apply some assembly lube to all the the. Uh, the cam lobes. Again, this is so that when you first start the engine, there may not be enough oil at the top of the engine to lubricate it properly. So you just want to put as much assembly lube up, up there as you, you know, you can never put too much. Then you go ahead and clean up the valve cover and throw that on there. And now the engine's ready to paint. So uh, at this point, that's going to be it for this video, and the engine's ready to attach to the frame, which I'll do on the next video. And so, uh, again, you know, as always, thank you so much for watching, and please remember to like, share, and comment, and subscribe. It really helps me with the channel, and uh, it will help me uh, produce future videos. So we'll see you next time. Thank you.